There we go. Yoga Cat is here. Ready? All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Friday Chill Class here at beautiful Lana. I always say that in life, we're always in this masculine approach to always be forceful and create the lives that we want with will. And it's really important that we practice the feminine aspect of life when we allow things to flow and naturally just happen on their own. So this is the nature of the dualistic world we live in, that there's masculine and feminine aspects in everything, in everyone. And it's important to have a balance of both so you can live from a peaceful place, manifesting the things that you want, but also allowing it to happen on its own. So we'll have all the Hatha elements in this Cho class. It's not going to be challenging in that we're holding really difficult postures, but challenging in a way that we'll be holding postures for a longer period of time forcing us to go within and allowing us to just soften. There's a time and place to go really hard in life, to manifest the things that you want, to deliberately create, but it's also so important to relax and surrender and just allow the natural flow to happen. Okay? I wish you all the best practice. <sighs> Let's come to a comfortable seat. Spine straight, shoulders back. Chin and chest up. Just settle into your body. Onto your mat. In this room. With your natural breath. Release all thoughts of the past and the future. Just bringing your full attention and awareness into this moment. Let's open our practice today by chanting Om, chanting the sound of the universe, connecting us to supreme consciousness, connecting us to the divine. Hands to heart center. Soft, deep inhale. Exhale, settle in. Inhaling. Set your intention for your practice today. What is it that brought you here to your mat? What is it that got you out of bed? What is it that you hope to receive from your practice? What do you hope to take away from your yoga practice into your daily life? Get really clear on your intention. Intention and will, these are the driving forces in the manifestation process. So the more clear you can be, the more conscious you can deliberately create your life in every moment. And if your mind wanders throughout the practice, just come back to this prayer. Come back to this reminder, gently bringing your mind back. Remember why you're here. Good. Bring your hands back down to your knees.
As always, we'll open with pranayama. In yoga, it translates to energy control. Practicing some conscious breathing to bring fresh prana, fresh oxygenated blood into our physical body and preparing us for a beautiful asana practice. We'll be doing Kapalabhati, as always. Sharp, forceful exhales of the diaphragm. The inhale happens automatically. Instead of doing it in a fast rhythm today, since it's a chill class, we'll be doing it slower. Often I find that if you do it slower, the effects are even greater. So just focus on the exhale. The inhale will happen on its own. And enjoy the benefits. We'll do 70 counts of slow kapalabhati with one minute breath retentions. I wish you all the best practice. Comfortable seat. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Good. Inhaling. Couple of bati, 70 counts. Begin. oxygenated, there's no need to breathe. breathing. Notice the effects of one round of pranayam. Notice the subtle shift in your awareness. Notice the subtle changes in your physical body. Already more still than when you arrived just several minutes ago. deep meditative state. Good. Round two. Deep inhale. 
exhale, sigh it out. Good, inhaling. 80 counts, nice and slow. Exhale. Inhale, fill your lungs. Take a couple more sips, fill it to the top. Hold. strong. Notice the sensations in your physical body. Notice as the fluctuations of the mind are settling as you continue to hold your breath. Good. Slowly release. Observe. Notice the effects of two rounds of Kapalabhati. Notice the changes in your mind. Notice the shift in your physical body. charging our physical body with fresh prana. Good. Third and final round. After the 80 counts of Kapla Bhati, we will be doing 10 Bastrika, bellows breath. Sharp inhales, sharp forceful exhales you can flex your spine as you're doing it or you can use your arms to really maximize the capacity of your lungs during the breath retention engage your mula bandha, the perineum muscle the pelvic floor the area between your genitals and your anus squeezing this muscle sublimates the sexual energy from the lower chakras to the higher energy centers so as you're holding your breath, squeezing this muscle, the same muscle that you use when you're trying to hold your pee, sending the energy up the spine, stimulating the pineal gland. Enjoy the benefits. Final round, give it your best effort. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. 
inhaling final round nice and slow Exhale, Bastrika. Inhale, exhale, flatten your lungs. Inhale, maximum capacity. Take a couple more sips. Hold. Squeeze your mulabanta. Send the energy up your spine. Visualize the energy moving up Shushumna Nadi. charged and, and ready for asana. Let's warm up. Neck rotations. Bring your chin to your chest. Right ear to right shoulder. Head around the back. Left ear to left shoulder. And back to center. Be gentle on your neck. Change direction.
good. And release. Go ahead and remove the cushion or the block from your seat. Bring your legs out long. Toes turn towards your face. Inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale, forward fold. And just check in with yourself. Notice if there's any tension in your body. And perhaps there's some tightness in your legs. Maybe some pain in your back. Maybe your mind is super busy and will not stop thinking. Just accept yourself where you are. No judgment towards yourself. Do not compare yourself to others, who you were yesterday, or how you think you should be. Total acceptance as you are. Take three deep breaths together. Deep inhale. Exhale, sink deeper into the posture. Deep inhale. Exhale, let go of everything that doesn't serve you. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, sigh it out. Good, and slowly unroll. Bring your legs out wide. You can place a cushion or a towel underneath your bum if you need help to rotate your hips. As your legs are out long, toes turn towards your face, walk your body forward. Nothing forceful. Remember in yin class, it's more about being able to flow and allow. There's a time and place to be forceful in life. If your elbows do not reach the mat, you can grab a couple blocks to support your elbows. Relax your neck. Breathe. Feel the inner thighs stretching, releasing. Has your mind wandered away? Gently bring it back to the intention that you made at the beginning of practice. There's no need to think about the past. No need to worry about the future. Just allow yourself to be here now. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Good, and slowly release. Bring your right foot on the inside of your left leg. Turn your body to the left, sweep your arms up. Exhale, up and over the left. Try to bring your forehead to your knee. Good, inhale, exhale, and slowly release. Take your left hand, place it on top of your right knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over for a side stretch. 
Use your left arm to pull your chest more open to the ceiling. Feel the stretch from your hip to your armpit. Good. Inhale back to center. Change legs. Right leg long. Left sole of the foot to the inner right thigh. 90 degrees at your legs. Turn to the right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. And bring your forehead to your knee. Inhale, exhale, and release. Right hand to left knee. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over, stretching the left side of the body. Use your right arm to pull your chest more open to the ceiling. slowly release. Crossing your legs, coming to all fours for cat-cow spinal breathing. Synchronizing the breath with the movements. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, hips over your knees. Inhale, chest down, chin up. Exhale, chin to chest, round your spine. Inhale, chin up, shoulders back. Exhale, push the floor away, rounding your spine. Deep inhale, eyes up. Exhale, rounding your spine like a scared Halloween cat. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Three more. Last deep inhale. Last deep exhale. Good, back to a neutral spine. Wrist stretching. Turn your hands so your fingertips are facing your knees. Palms flat on the mat. Elbows straight, leaning back. Be gentle on your wrists. Good. 
down and release. Tops of the hands on the mat, fingers facing each other, small circles. Good, change direction. Good. And release. Sitting on your heels with your toes tucked for a toe stretch. Wrist rotations. Hold your hands into a fist. Rotate your wrists. Change direction. Good. Rotate at your elbows. Change direction. Good. And release. Back to all fours. Preparing for our first downward dog of the day. Palms flat on the mat. Tucking your toes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, pressing into downward facing dog. Shake your head yes and no. Pedal your feet left and right. Come onto your tiptoes. Press firmly through the palms of your hands to open up your shoulders. Breathe. Sit bones high, chin and chest towards the mat. Good. Now bring your gaze up to your hands. Walk your feet up slowly. Feet hip width apart. Slight bend in the knees. Grab your elbow tips with your hands, forehead to forearms, swinging left to right. Ragdoll. Relax and release your back. Relax and release your mind. Release your hands, slowly rolling up, stacking your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. Shoulder rotations, full range of motion for your shoulders. Good, change direction. Good, spinal twisting, legs out wide, wider than your hips. Slight bend in the knees, relax your arms. Twisting, allow your forearms to gently tap your lower back to stimulate the kidneys. Use your gaze as you're twisting, look towards the back wall. Twisting the spine from the base to the crown. Okay, final warm up, spinal bending. Feet together, heels and toes touch. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right. Inhale, touch the ceiling. Exhale, up and over to the right. Pressing the hips to the left. Weight in the heels. 
Use your right arm to pull your left arm up and over the giant beach ball. Feel the stretch on the entire left side of the body from the ankle to the wrist. Good. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, push. And back to center. Change hands, grab your right wrist with your left. Inhale, touch the ceiling. Exhale, up and over to the left, pressing the hips to the right. Weight in the heels. Use your left arm to pull your right arm up and over the giant beach ball. Feel the stretch on the entire right side of the body from the ankle to the wrist. Inhale, exhale, push, and back to center. Good. First back bend of the day, place your hands in your back pockets, supported back bend. Drop your head back, look towards the ceiling, inhale up, exhale, press your hips forward, weight in the heels, looking back with your eyes, press your heart to the ceiling, open your shoulders, breathe. Soft inhale to lengthen. Exhale, push. And back to center. Forward folding, bending the spine in all four directions to prepare us for practice. You can just relax here, or you can grab your toes or your heels to lengthen the spine. Release your hands, slowly rolling up, stacking your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. Good. Come to the top of your mat. We'll open with traditional sun salutations. Synchronizing the breath with the movements. Full attention and awareness with gratitude towards our sun in the sky. Hands to heart center. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot back, inhale. Left foot back, exhale. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Right foot forward, inhale. Left foot forward, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Left foot back, inhale. Right foot back, exhale. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Left foot forward, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to heart. Thank you, sun, for everything that you do. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot back, inhale. Left foot back, exhale. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra, open your heart. Exhale, down. Good breathing. Right foot forward, inhale. 
Left foot forward, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. In. Out. Left foot back in. Right foot back out. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down. Left foot forward, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Follow my breath. Right foot back. Left foot back. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. Left foot back. Right foot back. Knees, chest, chin. Up. Down. Left foot forward. Right foot forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Good. Continue. Right foot. Right foot. Left foot. Left foot. Two more on each side. Right foot. Right foot. Left foot. Left foot. Good. Last one, best effort. Right foot, left foot, knees, chest, chin to the mat, inhale, cobra, exhale down, right foot, left foot, inhale up, exhale, hands to heart, last one, last side. Left foot, right foot, 
knees, chest, chin, cobra. Open your heart. Exhale down. Left foot. Right foot. Inhale to a back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Don't move. Be completely still. Notice the effects of sun salutation. Feel the effects on your mind and your physical body. Feel the energy of the sun. We thank you, Son, for everything that you do, providing us with light, growing our food, keeping us warm. We thank you for everything. Good. Feet together. Inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale, chair. Pressing your bum back into the invisible chair. Weight in the heels, arms up long, soft, subtle back bend in the lower middle back. Breathe. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. Pedal your feet left and right. Shake your head, yes and no. All right, let's begin. Inhale, right leg up and over, pointing your toes towards the left, opening your hips. Breathe, strong foundation in your hands. Good, take a deep inhale. Exhale, swing your right leg through. Open up to the left side, to the wall. Legs out long. Turn your toes in, heels out, pigeon toed. Standing wide leg at forward fold. You can grab your big toes with your peace fingers. You can grab your calves, ankles, or your heels. Weight in your toes, leaning forward. Pull your upper body down towards the mat, lengthening your spine. Stretching the back sides of both legs. Breathe. Try to bring your forehead to the mat. Good. Release your feet. Place your left hand directly underneath your face. Right hand towards the ceiling. Twisted wide leg. Keeping both legs straight. Breathe. Good. Exhale, release. Place both hands on the mat. Come up with the flat back. 
Bend your left leg, coming into Skandasana, side lunge. Make sure your left foot is flat on the mat, right heel on the mat, right toes turned towards your face. You can support yourself from behind with your hands. You can place your hands into prayer with your left hand pressing against your left knee, or you could go for the bind. Feel the compression on the left hip, stretching of the right inner thigh. Breathe. Good, release your hands, straighten both legs, come up with the flat back, bring your heels in and your toes out, come sitting down into stupor pose, both legs 90 degrees, place your hands on your inner thighs, supported stupor, press your knees back, squeeze your bum, sit down lower, allow your hips to open. Good, inhale, exhale, sit down lower, and straighten your legs. Windmill your hands, frame your right foot, bring your right foot back, come to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart, exhale down. Good, other side, inhale, left leg up and over. Point your toes towards the right. Breathe. Strong foundation in your hands. Good, deep inhale. Exhale, swing it through. Open up to the right side. Come up with the flat back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Coming forward with bound hands. You can bring your feet a little bit wider if you'd like. Make sure your toes are turned in, heels out. Leaning forward. Good, release your hands. Place your right hand directly underneath your face. Twisted wide leg, left hand towards the ceiling. Good, left hand back down, come up with the flat back. Bend your right knee, coming in Skandasana, other side. Right foot flat on the mat, left heel on the mat, left toes turned towards your face. You can support yourself from behind with your hands. Bring your hands into prayer with your right elbow against your right knee, or go for the bind. Feel the compression on the right hip stretching of the left inner thigh. Breathe.
good. Release your hands. Place your hands on the mat. Straighten both legs. Come up with the flat back. Bring your heels in, toes out. Coming into stupor again. This time, bring your hands into prayer above for full stupor or goddess pose. Squeeze your bum. Press your knees back. Sit down lower. Breathe. Squeeze your bum, press your knees back, sit down lower. Last few moments, come on your tiptoes. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your heels down, straighten your legs, hands on your hips. Windmill your hands to frame your left foot. Bring your left foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, down. Good. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, swing it through. Place your left knee on the mat. Come into low runner lunge. Right leg 90 degrees, knee stacked over your ankle. Left knee on the mat, press your hips forward and down. Feel the stretch on the hip flexor on the left side. If you don't feel the stretch here, bring your left knee further back. Bring your hips forward and down, chin and chest up. You can support yourself with a couple blocks if you need. Breathe. Where's your mind? Bring it back to center if it's wandered away. Good. Straighten your right leg. Coming to half split. Hips stacked over your left knee. Right toes turn towards your face. Bring your chin and chest forward and down. Feel the stretch on the entire backside of the right leg from the heel to the hip. Half Hanumanasana. Good breathing, slow, steady breath. Good, come back into low runner lunge. You can do the same variation as you did in the first round, or you can include a back bend. Bring your hands into prayer, reaching up, pressing your hips forward, heart to the ceiling, reaching back with your hands, breathe. Good, inhaling, exhaling. Now, coming back into half split, or you can attempt the full split if it's within your practice.
foot slowly come out, bending your right leg. Heel toe your right foot to the right side edge of the mat, coming down to snail pose. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle. If your elbows do not reach the mat, you can use a couple blocks to support. Allow your hips to open up. We store a lot of our old emotions and traumas as tension in the hips. So practicing these asanas help alleviate our suffering. With every breath, you sink deeper into the posture. If you'd like a little bit more, place your right hand on your right knee, pressing it further off the mat to deepen the hip stretch. Good, if you'd like to add a little bit more, go for the quad stretch. Reach your right arm back, grab your left ankle, pull your heel towards your bum. Twisting, stretching, breathing. Good, and release. Now, bring your right foot across the mat so that the shin is parallel to the front. If this hurts your knee, you could bend your knee slightly. Place both hands on the mat, take a deep inhale. Exhale, coming down into pigeon pose. We'll be here for a little bit, so find your edge. Slowly going deeper with every breath. Just allow yourself to settle into this posture. So in yoga, it's very important to practice uncomfortable postures with a certain attitude. This attitude of non-attachment. This attitude of not reacting Being able to sit in this discomfort with stillness and just noticing as the painful sensations as they arise, not reacting to them and then noticing as they pass away. And you'll find that when you come across uncomfortable people or situations in day-to-day -day life.
you can approach with the same attitude that you're cultivating here in your yoga practice. This attitude of non-reaction, an attitude of complete acceptance. And you will notice that this will greatly reduce the amount of suffering that you experience in your life. I say 99% of the suffering that we experience is created by ourselves. It takes a little discipline and practice but you will see and you will find that the patience that you cultivate in this room on your mat will translate and transfer directly into your daily life. Let's take three slow, deep breaths together. Slow, deep inhale. Slow, deep exhale. Feel where the tension is and send the breath there. Exhale. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, side out. Good four minute pigeon complete. Now slowly, carefully, mindfully coming back onto your hands, bringing your body back up, tucking your left toes, take an inhale, and just bring your right leg back and shake it out. Do some hip rotations, get the fresh blood back into your right leg. Shake it out, shake it out. Fresh oxygenated blood blasting through the right leg. Good, place your hands on the mat, tuck in your toes, take an inhale. Exhale, coming to your downward facing dog. Come to a plank, take a chaturanga to reset. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, swing it through. Good. Right knee on the mat. Low runner lunge on the other side. Left knee stacked over your left ankle. Hips forward and down. Stretching the hip flexor on the right side. If you do not feel the stretch here, bring your right knee further back. Bring your hips forward and down. Chin and chest up, shoulders back. Breathe. Good. Now come into half split, half Hanumanasana. 
Stack your hips over your right knee, left leg straight, heel on the mat. Turn your left toes towards your face. Bring your chin and chest forward and down. Stretching the entire back side of the left leg from the heel to the hip. Come back into low runner lunge. You can go same variation, or you can bring your hands into prayer and come into the back bend. Reaching your arms back, looking back. Press your hips forward, heart to the ceiling. exhale and coming back into half split or you can attempt the full split if it's within your practice Good, slowly come out, bending your left knee. Heel toe your left foot to the left side edge of the mat, coming down to snail pose. Again, if your elbows do not touch, you can use a couple blocks to support your elbows. Make sure your left knee is stacked over your left heel. Allow your hips to soften and open up. With every breath, you sink deeper into the posture. If you want to add a little bit more, take your left hand, press your left knee further off the mat. If you'd like to add a little bit more discomfort, grab your right ankle with your left hand, pull your heel towards your bum. Twisting, stretching, breathing.
Good, and release. Now, bring your left foot across the mat so that the shin is parallel to the front. If this hurts your knee, you could bend your knee slightly. Place both hands on the mat, take an inhale. Exhale, slowly coming down to pigeon pose. Again, as you're in this uncomfortable situation, this uncomfortable posture, be the silent observer. Watch as the sensations arise in your leg or your hip or in your mind. Do not react. And after some time, you will notice that these sensations of pain or tightness will eventually pass away. This is the nature of reality in this realm that we live in. Everything rises, everything arises to pass away. Everything is always changing, constantly changing. This is the law of impermanence. Nothing is forever in this realm. Everything is born and then eventually it dies. Everything starts to eventually be finished. It's the ebb and the flow, the inhale, the exhale. In Vipassana meditation, they always say anicca, anicca, changing, changing, constantly changing. The more we can just observe from a third person perspective, you'll notice that having less resistance and complete acceptance of the moment as it is will greatly reduce the suffering in your life. Just allow everything to be as it is. It's not the actual events in our life that create the suffering, but it's our reaction to them. So be the silent watcher of your life experience. Have a deep trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Everything in perfect divine order. Slow, deep breaths together. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. Feel where the tension is and send the breath there. Exhale. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, sigh it out. Good, four minute pigeon complete on the other side. And slowly coming back onto your hands, mindfully bringing your body back up, tucking your right toes, take an inhale. Exhale, bring your left leg back and shake it out. <laughs> Fresh oxygenated blood clearing out the arteries and veins in your left leg. Removing any stagnant energy that may have been lingering, allowing for more flexibility in your life. Good, shake it 
out, shake it out, do some hip rotations, whatever you need. Come to all fours, palms flat on the mat. Tucking your toes, take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing. Come into a plank for our last chaturanga of the day. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing. Now come lying onto your belly for some face down postures. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms flat on the mat, forearms parallel. Bring your shoulders back, pull your chest through between your arms for Sphinx Pose. Hands flat on the mat, pulling your upper body through between your arms. Feel the soft, subtle back bend in your lower middle back. Breathe. Good, let's activate the pineal gland. Look up with your eyes, looking up to your third eye. Place the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Squeeze your pelvic floor, squeeze your perineum. Send the energy up your spine. Our pineal gland is the antenna. It's our connection to supreme consciousness. Eyes up, tongue up, shakti up, squeeze your mula bandha, looking up. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Bring your forehead to your hands or the mat. some shoulder stretches. Bring your right arm out 90 degrees. Bring it 10 degrees higher so it's in line with the top of your head. Now roll your body up and over, opening the right shoulder. You bring your left hand up around the back to meet your right if it allows. Breathe. onto your belly. Now bring your right arm behind your chin, underneath your throat. Bring your right leg out 90 degrees if you'd like to add a hip stretch. Place your chin on the mat, right hand palm face down, left arm alongside your body, palm face up. Stretching the rear deltoid. Bring both shoulders to the mat. Breathe. Good, slowly release. Other side, bring your left arm out 90 degrees, palms face down. Bring it 10 degrees higher so it's in line with the top of your head. Roll your body up and over, opening the left shoulder. Breathe. 
bring your right hand to meet the left. Breathe. Slowly rolling back onto your belly. Bring your left arm underneath your throat, behind your chin. Bring your left leg out 90 degrees if you'd like to add a hip stretch. Left arm underneath your throat, palms face down. Right arm alongside your body, palms face up. Bring both shoulders to the mat, stretching the rear deltoid on the left shoulder. Breathe. Bring both shoulders to the mat to deepen the stretch. Chin and chest forward over the left arm. Slowly release. Bring your legs together, both arms along your sides, palms face up for neck stretching. Place your left ear on the mat, chin to right shoulder, stretching the neck. Change sides, right ear on the mat, chin to left shoulder. And slowly, chin back to center, pressing your body up, coming into child's pose. Toes touching, knees out wide, mat width. Bring your bum to touch your heels. Place your forehead on the mat, arms long. Slowly coming out, bringing your body back up. Now come onto your seat for our closing postures. Bring your arms behind you, fingers facing the back wall. Inching your bum forward until you feel a stretch in your shoulders. Once you feel a stretch here, come a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then straighten your legs. 
Rag Pose. Bend your knees, spring forward. Place your heels on the mat wide. Place the tops of your hands on your abdomen, on your sides, squeezing your elbows in for chicken wing. of the feet together, bring your heels close to your hips, for butterfly, use your elbows to press your legs closer down to the mat, leaning forward and down. Slowly release. Gomukhasana, cow face. Stretching the shoulders and the hips at the same time. So place your left leg underneath with your left knee facing forward. Place your right leg on top. So both knees are stacked on top of each other. Make sure both hips are touching the mat. Right arm underneath, left arm on top. If your hands do not touch, you can use a towel to assist. Cow face, leaning forward if you wish. Slowly release, switching your legs, right leg on the bottom, right knee facing forward, stack your knees on top of each other, both hips on the mat, left arm underneath, right arm on top, use a towel if your fingers do not touch, lean forward if you wish. Stretching the shoulders and the hips simultaneously. out wide, toes turn towards your face, 
walking your body forward and down. Again, use some blocks to support your elbows if they do not reach. And notice the difference from when we started our practice over an hour and a half ago. Exhale, slowly come up. Legs together. Legs long. Toes turn towards your face. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Now really check in with yourself again here. Notice the effects of 90 minutes of moving meditation. Maybe perhaps your legs are a little less tight. Maybe there's a little bit less pain in your back. Maybe your mind is softer, more equanimous. just the tip of the iceberg of having a consistent yoga discipline. The physical benefits are absolutely wonderful, but the mental, emotional, spiritual benefits of yoga practice is even greater. Deep inhale together. Deep exhale. And slowly unroll. Okay, final back bend. We'll do a powerful posture to end our class today. Coming onto your knees, preparing for camel pose. Back bends are really important in correcting our posture, releasing stuck emotions and energy in our heart, and just all around benefits of having back bends in your life. So we're gonna come into the posture. As always, take five deep breaths with every exhale, pressing deeper into the back bend. You can either have your hands in your back pockets or grab your heels if you'd like a little more leverage. Let's begin. Hands to your back pockets, take an inhale. Drop your head back, press your hips forward. Good, grab your heels if you wish. Let's take five breaths together. Deep inhale. Exhale, press your hips forward. Good, deep inhale. Exhale, press your heart to the ceiling. Good, deep inhale. Looking back with your eyes, opening your shoulders, push, two more. Exhale, push forward, go deeper, last one. Exhale, push, 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 go as far as you can. Hands to your back pockets, slowly coming up, sitting on your heels, palms face up, resting on your knees. Observe the effects. Feel the power of the back bend. Enjoy the high. Coming onto our backs, we complement our back bends with forward folds to bring energetic balance to the spine and the body. So, coming into plow pose, you can place your hands on your hips, 
on the mat or you can go for your toes. Try not to jam your neck. Keep the weight in the shoulders. Just allowing your spine to bend forward. Slowly unrolling your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Once your hips touch the mat, grab your feet from the outside. Coming to happy baby. Pulling your knees into your armpits. Have your entire spine on the mat, swinging left and right. Giving yourself a nice back massage. Good. Release your feet. Final spinal twist. Bring your arms out wide into a T, palms face down. Legs 90 degrees. Looking to your right hand, bring your legs up and over to the left. You can wrap eagle legs if you'd like. Place your left hand on top of your right knee to deepen the twist both shoulders on the mat, looking to the right, legs to the left, twisting the spine from the base to the crown. Good, legs back to center, gaze back to the ceiling. Look to your left hand, bring your legs up and over to the right. Wrap eagle legs if you wish. Place your right hand on top of your left knee to deepen the twist. Both shoulders on the mat, looking to the left, legs to the right. Twisting the spine from the base to the crown. Good, slowly release. Bring your legs back to center, gaze back to center. Now reach your arms up and over, grabbing your elbow tips, pulling your knees to your chest for one last big hug. And just take a moment here to thank yourself for showing up today. Thank yourself for taking the time to honor your physical body this body is the temple that houses your soul. I find in my own experience that the better care you take of your physical body, the more beautiful, the more enjoyable your experience will be here on earth. So thank yourself for taking the time to practice. 
definitely taking care of your health is one of the highest forms of self-love and self-respect. So give yourself some gratitude. One last slow, deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze as tight as you can. And release. You can go ahead and grab an inversion if you'd like, or just prepare yourself for a Shavasana. Bring your legs out long, feet fall open. Arms along your sides, palms face up. Grab a shirt or a towel to cover your eyes to reduce distractions. This is the most important posture of our practice. <laughs> this is where we absorb and integrate all the energy that we've cultivated. This is where we download and integrate. This is where the real yoga happens. The more still that you can be in this posture, more different your life will be outside of this room. Give yourself this time to completely relax every part of your physical body. Relaxing every cell of your being. Starting at your toes. Relaxing your feet. Your ankles your legs. Completely relax. Relaxing your hips, your buttocks, lower, middle, upper back. Completely relax. Relaxing your abdomen, your chest, your shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, and fingertips. Completely relax. If there's any tension in your heart, just bring your awareness here and just let it go.
relaxing your relaxing your jaw gently part your lips release the tongue from the roof of your mouth relaxing your cheeks your nose your eyes ears temples forehead top of the head entire face completely relaxed and most importantly relaxing your mind no thoughts no past no future thoughtless mind thoughtless breath relaxing every cell of your physical body This is our final posture of the day. Full body relaxation. Coming into Shavasana.
and slowly, bringing your attention and awareness back into your physical body, back into this room. Wiggling your fingertips and your toes. Reaching your arms up overhead for a full body stretch. Taking a few soft breaths. And while keeping your eyes closed and your attention inward, rolling onto your right side into the fetal position, resting your head on your arm or a cushion. spend our first nine months of our lives, our first nine months as a human in this posture, in our mother's womb. So that's a very nurturing, loving energy when we assume this posture. You feel the unconditional love from our Divine Mother, Pachamama, our beloved planet Earth, holding and supporting you every single day of your life. And she loves you deeply and she loves you unconditionally. And when you're ready, continuing to keep your eyes closed and your attention inward, coming back to a comfortable seated position. And while we are in this deep state of yoga, this union with our higher self, this deep meditative state, it's a perfect opportunity to cultivate some gratitude, 
And normally during our gratitude practice, we give thanks to everything outside of us, the people in our life, objects, situations. We give thanks for the things outside. But today, we're going to give some gratitude for ourselves. The self gratitude meditation. This is out of a book that I'm reading right now called Eight Rules of Love. So just sit in stillness and listen to these words as we bring some gratitude towards ourselves. So breathe normally and naturally. Just take a moment to notice the pattern of your breathing. Allow your focus to shift to your body. Notice where it touches the ground and where it does not. Notice the sensations where it touches your skin. Now, bring the attention to the soles of your feet Notice how they feel. Express gratitude to your feet for what they allow you to do. I'm so grateful for your support. I'm grateful for how you ground and connect me to the earth. Use whatever language feels natural and welcome to you. Allow your attention to move upward to your lower legs, your knees, and your thighs. Notice how they feel. Express gratitude to your legs. Thank you for your steadiness. Thank you for helping me move around the world. Now bring your focus to your arms. Notice your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, and your hands. Give thanks. Thank you for all that you do to help me interact with the world around me, enabling me to care for and express myself. Now allow your attention to shift to your face. Notice the nose that lets you smell, the mouth that enables you to eat, the eyes that let you see, and the ears that let you hear. Express your gratitude. I am grateful for the richness you bring to my life, allowing me to enjoy nourishing food, to hear music, to smell flowers, and to take in the beauty of nature and the world around me. Now take a moment to go inside, beneath the skin. Scan slowly downward, starting with your brain. Express gratitude to your brain for all the important functions it is able to perform. Thank you for all you do to coordinate and monitor this miraculous organism that is me, for enabling me to process information, to think, to joke, to appreciate, to feel compassion, and to take action. Now lower your focus to your heart. Notice its rhythm as it beats inside your chest. Express your gratitude. Thank you for working all day and all night, whether I appreciate you or not, whether I acknowledge you or not. And shift attention to your lungs. Notice your rib cage softly expanding and collapsing with each breath. Give thanks. Thank you for filling me with life. Allow your attention to drop into your stomach. Notice how it feels. Thank your stomach. I am grateful for how you digest food and create the energy that I need for the day. Now slowly shift your focus back to your whole body. Take a moment to express gratitude for your body or to your mind or whatever stands out to you in this moment. Remember that gratitude is one of the highest vibrations, vibrational emotions that we can feel in this life, right next to love. You implement a daily gratitude practice and watch your life shift in the most beautiful, subtle, but profound way. This gratitude and contentment, these are the two essential components for happiness. So we must practice every day. 
And all we have to say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's close our practice with three unifying ohms. Again, chanting the sound of the universe, connecting us to supreme consciousness. Hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale. Deep, slow exhale. give thanks for the teachings of yoga. We give thanks for today and we give thanks for this beautiful life. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your practice with me and honoring your physical body. May all beings be happy and free. Namaste.